What is going on guys, Chris here, and in today's video we have an unboxing from letscubit.com. So in this package I just have a few things that I wanted to buy, uh, puzzles that I've wanted for a little while, or puzzles that I need for an upcoming competition. So, there you go, we have three puzzles here. They almost can't even fit into the shot, so we'll just sort that out in a minute. Uh, and of course we have our Let's Cubit business cards. If you want to check out letscubit.com, really awesome store that ships to the UK and EU, really cheap prices. Okay, so the first puzzle is quite obviously a clock. Now I've registered for the Rubik's clock at the UK Championships 2016, but I didn't actually own a clock when I did that, so I've got this Lingal one in the hope that I'll be able to use it. Okay, so this is it, and well, it's just a clock, isn't it? Uh, you basically turn your little wheels like this, and you've got to get all of the different uh, hands to turn in the same direction. I will probably be doing a canker solve on this because I haven't solved a clock in forever, but yeah, this will be quite interesting, especially if I'm doing it at a competition. So we'll just see how this goes, and yeah, so far the pins are a little. Well, they don't really want to go in. They're a little. St oh, they are very stiff. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yeah, I might need to. Well, I definitely will need to lubricate this, but uh, we'll do that in a later time. Uh, that's just the Rubik's clock, everyone. Okay, so next up is this puzzle, which is actually just a mirror blocks. Uh, a lot of people have requested this on Can Chris Solve, so I figured why not just do it. Uh, I actually used to have a mirror blocks and it's a super fun puzzle so I thought you know let's do it this is the Shengshao mirror blocks I believe uh, so let's just get this guy out there we go oh my gosh super greasy ah oh okay so I got it in gold just to switch it up I actually used to have the silver one but this looks really nice actually uh, it's super smooth it's a lot nicer in turning than the one that I used to have Wow, that feels really nice actually. Um, cool. So again, I will be doing Can Chris Solve on this puzzle as well. I should be able to solve it because I used to be able to and it's just a 3x3 three three shape mod. But we will see. You never know what's going to happen with Can Chris Solve. And that is the Golden Mirror Blocks. Okay, and finally the puzzle that I'm the most excited about actually. I got myself a Chi Square One. Just because I've heard that it's the best square one on the market now since the cubicle discontinued theirs, uh, I've actually been using a Calvin's Puzzle Square One to practice for the UK Championships and it's pretty bad. So, yeah, this is one that I'm hoping is going to be a little better. Uh, I'm by no means fast at square one, I can't really speed cube it, I can barely even solve it actually. So, let's just have a go at this. Alright, so I can already feel that it's super smooth. Uh, this actually has a new kind of uh, cone shape when you uh, have your little rails that hold it all together, whereas the, uh, the other older square ones don't have this. So apparently this puzzle is meant to have increased corner cutting, which it definitely does. Wow, that's really impressive actually. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. So let's just do some first turns. Okay, so that feels really good actually. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, so if anything, this feels a little bit too fast because I am just a beginner at square one, but oh wow, this is great. All right, so I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun messing about with this puzzle and just seeing how fast I can get with square one. Because I'm currently using the beginner's method, but I kind of understand more advanced ways to do the square one. I've just not really applied them yet, so be really interesting to see how I actually do over the next few months and then eventually competing in square one. Okay guys, but those are just the puzzles that I've got today. It's nothing really special. I'm just kind of stocking up on my collection. I obviously needed these two puzzles for a competition and then this for a Can Chris Solve. So definitely look out for those two Can Chris Solve videos. And then of course, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like. Leave a comment below, let me know what you want to see on the channel, and then of course subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Have an awesome day. Bye.